Hello, fellow humans. Today, I'm going to be changing it up a bit, and instead I'm going to be talking about the things in this world that I like. You see, I think that YouTube has become a very um, negative-based platform. I figured I would balance it out with some nice and wholesome, hopefully, content. So, um, sit back, grab a popcorn, um, no food, I don't know, whatever is fine with you. And, uh, let's just, let's just jump right into it, okay? So the first thing we got on here that I really like in this world, that I don't think people are giving enough attention to, is theater. You know, a lot of people, when they think of theater, they think of your Hamiltons, your D. Evan Hansen, your Newsies, all these, like, corporate stuff, but it's really not true. You see, theater, for a long time, has been really dominated by, like, the little guy, and is mostly a, um, a projection of just things going on in society. It's like how clowns were made, so that way we could, you know, have a medium in which we could, you know, talk about the things that were happening in our world. And that's a lot of things that, that's why theater was created, was that way we can, you know, reflect on our world in this other place, you know, beyond the fourth wall, per se. And I don't feel like people give enough attention to that. I feel like people think about theater, they're always like, oh, the Hamilton, he raps, he does his stuff. But it's more than that. Okay, I'm going to stop before I um, instantly go too far into the theater nerd stuff. Vegans. This is actually the most con controversial thing I've said. Uh, I really think that vegans are doing the best thing that they can do for the world. Um, you see, when we deplete all of our resources... The reason why we don't have any of those surpluses is because um, they're going to cows, and they're going to pigs, and meat. Um, you realize it takes all of our resources to fill them. There's multiple documentaries on how it's bad, and how we should probably not eat meat anymore, and how the fact that we do eat meat is actively actually increasing climate change. It's just very harmful, and it shouldn't continue. So, I'm... I'm very much trying to be more pescatarian, vegetarian, but the people who are out there in PETA fighting for all that animal stuff is great. Plus, still, like, I never bought into the whole hating PETA meme stuff because, like, realize animals are sentient beings that you probably shouldn't torture, to be honest. So, still, I'm going to support them anyways, even though I'm having a really hard time being vegan and I'm probably never going to do it because I'm, I'm weak. But anyways... Next thing we have is the art of editing and film. I really much enjoy the art of editing and film. Because, you know, editing is a bit of my thing. But yeah, editing is truly an art that I feel like has been kind of overlooked nowadays. A lot of times you'll see your Bohemian Rhapsodies, in which they just like sloppily cut everything together with like 10 jump cuts. And it's not really about that, because editing is just as much used to tell the story, just as much as the cinematography or the dialogue is. It's just as important. Bad editing will ruin your film, okay? So that's why I feel like it's stupid. People are just like, ah, just compile it all together. Just add a bunch of colors and loud distortions and just, just do that kind of stuff. Because that's, that's not what it's about. You know what it's really all about? It's just being able to engage more with people and having the story be more. And like, if the movie is your cake, editing is its icing. You see, without the icing, you just have a pound cake, which is, like, fine, but it's, like, it can be so much better, and it's right there. You know, you put, you put your vanilla glazing over there. You put your, your chocolate over there, you know, nice little decorate decorations that you put inside of it, and boom, it's just a million times better. So I don't know why people have been looking over it so much, and I feel like we should go back to just increasing our love of editing. Next thing we have is record players. I just really like them. I think they're just really cool. It's really sad that they've gone out of medium. Considering the stuff you get on records, you won't find on Spotify. So they're very unique, which is something I feel like we don't find very often in our music. I feel like we, we have, because of Spotify and iTunes, we just kind of have to be like, ooh, I'm going to be in my little bubble over here. A little over this thing. Little safe spaces of music. And we don't really branch out. Versus when you bought a record, you were you were taking your chances. Like, 
that it was a 50 50 chance it could suck or she didn't enjoy it you know but it was a, the good the great thing about it was that it just increased the love of music Nowadays, anyone can just go on Spotify, and that's all great. That's great. I'm not going to diss Spotify. Spotify and iTunes are very useful, and I love them. It's just the fact that record players are just, they were such a great medium. And, you know, they were, they really bonded people together with the, the crazy music stuff that you can't find. Um, the next stuff is Spider Man video games. These things have. Uh, Okay, now they get a lot of attention with Spider-Man PS4, but people just kind of forget about that game. And that frustrates me. Because back in the day, in the early 2000s, Spider-Man games were the stuff, okay? They were the best, okay? Until, um... <sighs> until Spider-Man 3. I'm not, I'm not going to make an excuse for that. That one was the worst game ever. And I just got to say, it's like, they were really great up until Spider-Man 3 and Amazing Spider-Man. Those were, those were like iffy. I got to say though, they were still funny. So even if you don't like any of the games, you can still find enjoyment, which is why I love them so much. Ultimate Spider-Man, amazing combat. Web of Shadows, amazing, original, concept, great, web swinging. Spider-Man 2018, PS4, that one, boy, that one's great, okay? New gen, great swinging, fun plot, great stuff to do, all that, all that good goodies. And yeah, that's it. really it with it. There's not much else to say. I just really like Spider-Man. And I think the video games need some love. Wholesome content. I feel like we need a more wholesome content on this platform. We need more memes about love and stuff. Because, god damn it, I'm not seeing enough of it, okay? Everyone's complaining all the time. And I know everyone wants to hear me and other people complain. I mean, not me, but they want to hear people get upset. But I don't want to hear people getting upset anymore. I want to see people happy, okay? Ah, forcefully. So, I'm going to make you a, a deal. If someone who's watching this has a YouTube channel, and I don't know, um, let's just say uh, a guy, De Devin, that guy, if he makes a video in which he lists top 10 songs of... You know, if he just, like, makes a video saying his favorite songs, or, I don't know, this guy over here, Buddy, Buddy Tannis, I don't, I don't know if you've heard of him, made a video of his top five, like, favorite movies or whatever, you know, maybe I would give you a gem. And if this, if it, that happens, I will hit the woe on camera a hundred times. Non-stop. No cuts. A hundred times, I will hit the woe. I'm not joking. I'm a man of my word. So if you're, um, you're these two fellas, you best get on your work now. So. Yeah. Also, by the way, you don't need to do what I've just said to you. Um, just, just make anything that's positive. Um, Okay. Anyways, this has been uh, Kaden to an extent, and like, I love you. Have a great day.